Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents When and Where Did Humans Domesticate Wolves? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Nature, published on June 29, 2022. Research conducted by Anders Bergstrom, Dave Stanton, and others from the Ancient Genomics Laboratory at the Francis Crick Institute in London and the Department of Bioinformatics and Genetics at the Swedish Museum of Natural History in Stockholm. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Scientists recently discovered an 18,000-year-old preserved canine puppy. Could this incredible discovery be the earliest dog ever uncovered? And could he help us understand more about the origins of dogs and wolves? We studied 70 ancient wolf specimens and found some possible answers. Dogs appear to have come from two separate ancient wolf populations. We believe that there are two possibilities for how this could have happened. By analyzing the DNA of ancient wolves, we can better understand wolves and dogs who live today. Introduction. Have you ever looked at a small dog, like a chihuahua, and wondered how on earth it could have evolved from wolves? Scientists know that wolves have roamed the planet for hundreds of thousands of years because of fossil evidence. They also know that dogs evolved from gray wolves over 15,000 years ago, when people started to domesticate wolves. People domesticated wolves for protection, companionship, hunting, and much more but scientists are not sure about when and where dog ancestors lived. In 2018, scientists uncovered a preserved canine, whiskers fur and all, in the permafrost in Siberia. This two-month-old preserved puppy was nicknamed Dogor. Dogor means friend in the Yakut language of Siberia. Scientists worked out that Dogor lived around 18,000 years ago. Normally, it's quite easy to tell dogs and wolves apart, but Dogor was a different story. Because of his age, Dogor could be one of the earliest known dogs ever found. He could also be an evolutionary link between dogs and wolves. We wanted to know if this discovery would help answer some questions about the ancestry of both dogs and wolves. We had three questions. Was Dogor a dog or dog or get it? A wolf. Where and when did wolf domestication happen? And was Dogor the ancestor of our present day dogs? By examining Dogor's DNA and the DNA of other ancient wolves and dogs, we could try to answer those questions. In the photo, you can see Dogor. Dogor still had his milk teeth intact, which helped us determine his young age. You can see Dogor's teeth and nose being held by a gloved hand. You can also see one of Dogor's paws in the lower left of the image. Methods. We analyzed 72 ancient wolf samples, including Dogor. Six of the samples had already been analyzed before, while 66 of them were new ancient samples. The oldest wolf sample we used was from around 100,000 years ago. We analyzed bones and teeth from wolves that had been found all over the world. To collect the DNA from ancient bones and teeth, we first need to clean any modern DNA from the outside of the sample. We cleaned our samples with bleach and UV light. We then scraped or drilled off a small piece of the sample and ground it into a fine powder. In the laboratory, we extracted or collected pieces of DNA from the powder. Then, we used a machine to sequence the DNA. Sequencing is a technique that tells us all the parts that make up an individual's DNA. Using this information, we were able to study how genetically similar different wolves were to each other. The age of the samples was also important because some were from just before the last ice age ended. Some other samples were from after the Ice Age. Here in Figure 1, you can see we analyzed samples of dogs and wolves found all over the world, 
including Europe, North America, Central Eurasia, and Siberia. In the map, you can see the North Pole near the center, with Europe and Siberia towards the bottom, and North America towards the top. The samples that were collected are color-coded based on where they were found. Neon green from Europe, light blue from Central Eurasia, red for Siberia, and dark green for North America. Results. By comparing the ancient wolf DNA to the DNA of modern dogs and wolves, we were able to learn more about the ancestry of both dogs and wolves. We concluded that Dogwar was a wolf. His DNA shared the most genetic similarities with ancient Siberian wolves that lived around the same time. Most of today's wolves share genetic similarities with Ice Age wolves from Siberia. This means that Dogwar is an ancestor to many of the wolves that live today. Wolves like Dogwar who live towards the end of the Ice Age are more genetically similar to each other than to wolves who lived earlier in the Ice Age. And dog ancestry appears to have come from two separate ancient wolf populations. Most dogs have more genetic similarities to an Asian source, yet some dogs also have some genetic similarities to a Middle Eastern source. In figure two, you can see dogs' ancestry proportions and the locations where they were found. Most dogs contain DNA from both the Eastern and Western sources. However, the Eastern source had the most similarities. Some dogs, those with full blue circles, appear to have descended directly from this Eastern source. Circles on the map indicate dogs that were sampled, and the pie chart indicates how much of the Eastern and Western source DNA was found. X's indicate ancient wolves that were not the ancestor of dogs. Looking at the map, which dog shares the most DNA with this Western source population? Discussion. It appears that wolf populations were quite well connected through the late Pleistocene era, the last ice age. Many large mammals became extinct during the Ice Age, but wolves did not. They moved across large distances and spread new helpful traits throughout the species, which helped them to survive. Dogs are more genetically similar to ancient wolves in Asia than to those in Europe. We believe there must have been a domestication process somewhere in Asia. Early dogs from Siberia, the Americas, and Northeastern Europe share their origins from this Eastern source. However, early dogs in Africa, Southern Europe, and the Middle East appear to also have some ancestry from ancient wolves in the Middle East. This suggests two possibilities. One, wolves were domesticated twice, once in Asia and once in the Middle East. Or two, Wolves were domesticated once, most likely in Asia, but mixed again with wild wolves. We can't be certain which possibility is correct, but our results suggest the largest part of dog ancestry comes from the Eastern source. Conclusion. Our study was the first time the genomes of a large animal has been tracked so closely over 100,000 years. But why is this important? Documenting a species' DNA over time allows us to watch evolution progress. Our study revealed that different wolf populations were genetically quite similar during the Ice Age. There are more genetic differences between wolf populations today than there ever were in ancient times. This is because of habitat loss and ill treatment by humans over the last few centuries. There are many organizations around the world committed to conserving endangered wolf populations. The Wolf Conservation Center protects Mexican gray wolf and red wolf populations. If we support the hard work of organizations like these, maybe we can help wolves to thrive for another 100,000 years. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.